Greetings, Wastelanders. Wanderer here. Welcome to Rage 2, the newest offering from id Software and Avalanche Studios, the creators behind the Doom game, which I love so much. And, of course, uh, Avalanche is behind the Mad Max game, which I never played, but I've heard very, very good things about. So I am quite excited, quite keen to take a look at this game. I have seen all the trailers for it. It looks fantastic. Uh, it looks very, very similar to how Doom feels in terms of the gunplay, which I know I've talked about that before. I love uh, Doom, so I'm looking forward to this. So I've played just enough to uh, make sure that everything works okay and my settings are all right with everything. So let's jump right in and take a look at this game. We're going to start this on hard because um, I want a challenge, but I don't want it to be a nightmare, at least not my first time through. We had such plans for this world. Our Earth so mercifully cleansed by the media they named Apophis. We had such plans, all thwarted by one man, Nicholas Rain. With the push of a button, our future was ended. The Arcs emerged. The Ecobards came tumbling down, all premature, pouring life back into the barren lands, starting the cycle of life anew, as we had planned to do with our own species. Our plans were thwarted by the naive and arrogant masses. The cleansing of our weakened species was hindered. Our aid selfishly refused. They chose their own pitiful existence over the future of the breed. Such hubris. They thought us defeated. We let them believe us defeated. But we moved underground. We watched their petty squabbles, their meaningless turf wars, their childish attempts at order from chaos, and we grew strong. Our science, our expertise, all aligned, all with one sole purpose, the surgical culling of the weak. Man reborn! We tear down the defenses. We take their compounds. We take the Arcs. We raise their settlements and townships to the ground. Tonight marks the beginning of the cleansing. Tonight marks the rebirth of the authority. Shit, sign me up the authority, man. That guy is a badass. So he's like a mech, I guess? Mostly a mech? Not entirely human. Well, mostly not human. What the hell is going on out there? Nothing good. Better gear up and move out. Okay, character selection. Guy or gal, I'm gonna do a guy because uh, I feel weird playing a female character as a male myself. I, think it's a I know some it's of you time, right? prefer the other yeah, way around. I guess next time through I'll do the female. So, um, I know, uh, not a ton about this game. Um, I played the original Rage very little. Definitely some mouse smoothing going on, which I'm not sure. I'm sure it's better for you guys, but I don't know how much I like it for myself. But, um, I got the original Rage with, um, I want to say my GTX 570 video card a long, long time ago. I'll secure the door. Uh-oh. He's still twitching. Oh, come on, Lily. That was my kill. You gotta move a little faster, Walker. Lily, the closest thing I ever had to family. We grew up here in Vineland, raised by her drill sergeant of a mother. Me? I'm an orphan. I don't have a mother. But there's plenty more where that came from. I'm telling you, this is the big one. All right. Let's go fucking get some. Come on. Right, so there are baddies outside and we must go and kill them. Um, I 
don't think there's anything else you need to get here, so... Oh, hello. Nice. I believe the headshot there was a one-shot kill. There is a zip line here. Okay, just taking a look around here real quick before we jump down into the fray and get going. See, so yeah, as I said, I played the original, but not very much. Maybe 10 hours or so. It wasn't a ton. Uh-oh. I was never much for counting. You know, Lily, perhaps you should focus on shooting the things. We're on our way. Got Lily too. I'm not doing particularly well here. Jersey's been deployed to warn the other settlements. They got to know. I guess this is big then. Just snapped it on the comm box. This is the biggest attack I've ever seen. I'm serious. Remember this part, I need to get these things. Yep, I got it. Don't interrupt me while I'm getting all these cells here. This is very similar to um, Doom, where you pick up the health cells or whatever. But I just got my butt handed to me by those guys. It is on hard, and I'm not entirely comfortable with this. Um, I don't know, the, the mouse might still be a little bit off. I wish there was a way to sync, like, every game to, uh, Fallout 4 as far as my mouse settings go. Pick up the health infusion, use it with T, got it. Take it, use it, yeah. That didn't... Well, no, it's still healing me. We should be good. Okay, that's the big boy. Get him, Jersey. He just used like a warp ability. Holy shit! It took his whole head off. So much for Ranger Jersey. He's not gonna defib out of that. Well, sorry, Ranger Jersey. Taking that off. Oh, return to your objectives. Okay. Don't look around. At least not in the um, beginning here. Hmm. Taking the bloody armor off the corpse. Shit. Mom's gonna skin you alive messing with ranger gear. <laughs> uh, but it's still got a lot of jersey in it. Yeah, but it's our only shot. Oh, yeah. This is even better than I thought. So far, so good. You know, I'm liking this game a lot so far. Okay, tamp Q to switch between weapons. Hold Q for the full loadout. Okay, let's see here. So here's my full loadout. I've got my Cyberwinder pistol and my assault rifle. Right, and my wing stick. Uh, is wing stick... Right click? No, how, how do you... how do you, Hold on, how do you use a wing stick? I guess it's... Is it G to use the wing, the wing stick? I only have four of them, though. That's a bit of a... Long stretch. Let me make sure. Yes, that is the wing stick. Okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. G. Tap, throw, wing stick. Got it. Is it like. Oh. Did I get them? I don't think I did. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to use the wing stick. I'm not succeeding very well. I don't know what you're doing out in front there, dude, but you're... I mean, oh, fine, you're making a good... You're making a good shield for me. Is there, like, a slide or anything? No. Probably is, I just don't know how to do it yet. Alright. Anything else over here I should get? 
I don't think there is. Let's go. Let's just go. Uh, okay, use grenades to deal massive damage. Switch gadget with X. Grenades, got it. Yeah, we're at max on the Grenados. Let's use those up. I guess four is the max you can take with those. Not sure. But, uh, yeah, we should probably use those. Uh, see the crouch. Got it. Okay. Control to focus and highlight enemies and object attack with importance. Okay. Oh, okay. So using focus attracts Feltrite to me. Okay. Piss off. Cutting through like an armada of guys here, you know? Okay, good. Getting healed up. Yeah, it's just like the Doom mechanic with, you know... Although, I don't... I don't know if there were glory kills. I guess not. Okay, how do, how do I overdrive? There was a button for that. Oh, hold on, let me check. Okay, overdrive was actually not bound, so I had to, to bind it to Y, I guess. What is this? Data pad... Intel attained, Ranger Report, was on a patrol out by the old checkpoint bridge and was amazed to find it overrun by bandits. They are trying to ambush convoys that are passing through. It's worrying to see them so confident. We got a few and scared off the rest, but they'll be back. We need to get rid of them before they dig in properly. Ranger Jersey out. Uh, there is a story in this game. It is, uh, okay, here we go. Oh, I guess V was overdrive, and I just added Y. I'm not sure why it didn't say there was a binding for it, though, in the settings. Uh, anyway, kill enemies in section to charge overdrive, which increases the damage you deal and fully charge. Okay, cool. Cool, I like it, so let's do it. It is pretty cool. I couldn't run, though, while I was in overdrive. Oh god, a lot of them. Ah, a lot of them. I'm getting stuck on terrain here. This is not good. I don't want to die this quickly. That would be bad. Who is- oh, there they are. God, it's hitting me from above. Coming up there. I don't think I have a whole lot of those health infusions left, if any at all. Don't worry, guys. I'll get better at this eventually. Is that mom? Dear old Aunt Prowley, 
Decorated war hero, ranger, and role model. Especially for Lily. She took me in when my parents died. <laughs> the meanest mom this orphan wildcard never asked for. Reporting for duty. Come here! That's Jersey's armor. Jersey. They killed him. You're brave enough to put on his armor. You're brave enough to do his job. What the fuck is that? Never seen anything so big. Makes an easy target. Can't be. He should be dead. General Cross. Hey, Cross. <laughs> <laughs> I think the decapitation was sufficient. I want the first genus. Kill everything else. General Cross, the evil leader of the evil authority. Our own boogeyman. A bedtime story for naughty kids like me. I don't know if Prowley has lost it or if it's really true. You know this though. If it is, I'm not gonna stand for it. Son of a Stand down! That's a direct order! Oh, Jesus. Get me out of here, Mom. But for you, I'll make an exception for old times, Elwina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After all, your uselessness is what once spared my life. <laughs> Did his energy blade thing just also have like a gun attached to it that shot her off? So mom is dead, killed by the evil general. Our adoptive mom anyway is dead, killed by the evil general. Let's see if we can jumpstart this. Clear. Wait, wait the fuck! Fuck's sake! Oh, I was conscious! Yeah, you were. But your shiny new armor needed a jolt. So this is it then. This is all that's left? Just over 20 survivors. We're still digging out the ruins. I saw Prowley. It was General Cross. He... He killed her. Kill my mother. I don't know how, but we gotta stop them. And I'll personally wring the neck of that goddamn wrinkled bastard. I never really believed the stories. That the authority would return. Well, they did. And we gotta do something about it. Mom knew what to do. The Rangers knew. They kept their files, the logs. They kept them in the Presidio. The Ranger CP? You nuts. Only Rangers can go in there. Look at me, Lily. <laughs> I'm the only Ranger left. Holy shit. You really are. Okay, so I'm supposed to enter the Presidio. I'm the last ranger, apparently. I don't know why the shadows look so crappy. You see the little, little uh, like on her neck by her scarf, the pixelate, and like just in general, the shadows just look god awful. Let me see if I can adjust that before we go any further.
yeah, so my shadow resolution is at ultra and I'm even using the dynamic upscaling of the resolution, which normally I'd be playing it. I'm, I'm playing at a 1440p monitor, but the way that my GPU works is that I can, and my, my monitor works is that I can upscale one and a half times. And then it, uh, like uses that as super sampling and makes the game look even better. So I'm not really sure why those shadows look like such garbage. But, you know, day one game release and all that. Hopefully it'll be patched. No major complaints in the graphics, though. I mean, that's a fairly small gripe. So, Mom is dead. And uh, we're on our own. We're going to get revenge. Basic premise of the story here. Uh, is there anything of importance out here? I kind of doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> the game keeps yelling at me, Hey, by the way, moron, your, um, your mission objective is over here. I don't know what you're doing running around. Uh, let's just let's just go over just get the the intro part out of the way I'm already sprinting game calm yourself game I'm already sprinting there's the thing oh pistol rounds already have lots of pistol rounds these guys uh, they take a lot of damage unless you headshot them which that, that's fine precision over um Firing lots of rounds, you know. I hope you got something for me in here, Brawley. Unknown intruder. This is Presidio Security Protocol. State your name, rank, and business. Wall rat unit, Corporal Walker. I'm here to find information about uh about my uh about Ranger Unit Sergeant Rowina Prowley. Thought we were gonna get blasted by our own guys there. Walker, if you're seeing this message, it means we've been hit harder than ever before. Unlikely dead, and Vineland is laid to ruin. It also means that you're the only living ranger, and that the authority is back, and they must be stopped. All these years, I kept you away from the ranks of the rangers, as I hoped you would be spared in an attack like this. Likely targeting rangers and elders. You're my hidden weapon. Sorry I kept you in the dark. You now have full access to Vineland's primary arc and the technology inside. The old icebox. Imagine spending hundreds of years in this thing. It was me, your parents, all the originals. Froze up like popsicles. And from here we emerged and kicked the authorities ass. Inside the arc is an ID accession distributor, which is my greatest gift to you. A device which augments the nanotracks in your blood and gives you, well, Superhuman powers. There's no other way to put it. Enter the arc and activate it. Okay, uh, what was this we just got about here? Active Ranger. Um, 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 um information. We got some stuff here. No, that's not what I wanted. Um. Now, let's see what kind of surprise you got. There was something I was supposed to hit tab for, though. Ah, you know what? For me here, Ghost Brawley. The story is there. I may observe it more at my leisure, but I am keen to just uh, get out in the big open world and start playing. So arcs are extremely valuable and can obtain can contain both arc weapons and nano trite abilities. Search for them across the wasteland to become more powerful. Okay, approach the arc, face the door, and use focus, which is control, to open it. Got it. Please approach for security scanning. Security scanning complete. Welcome to ARC 401A. Okay. So I just stick my hand into this strange hole and hope for the best. Guess so. Huh. There goes nothing. Simulation 
chamber. In here, you will be able to gain proficiency in the use of your art weapons and any ID accessions. You have successfully installed ID accession dash. With the dash accession, you will be able to evade incoming threats and become harder to hit. Okay, so if I want to use dash, I use control plus plus the direction I want to go. So if I go forward. Good. Again, please. Okay, so if I'm pointing on W and then hit control. And again. There's a cooldown on it. Good work. A simulation will allow you to train in the use of your dash accession to evade enemy fire. Okay. Those rockets, man, those rockets move slow as molasses. Pretty ridiculous how, how slow they go. Good. You have successfully completed your dash accession training. I did it. Hooray. I can dash. I hope you can rank it up because it, right now it feels a little bit underwhelming. Will you have to eat my arm? Come back to the main hall. I have more information for you. It feels weird taking instructions from my dead aunt. You've got your first ID accession. For you, there's more. There are many arcs still out there. Find them. Each arc contains valuable resources that will help your fight against the Authority. But you can't fight them alone. You'll need help. If Lily is still alive, she will be invaluable to you. But there are other allies. People you may have only heard about. Around the end of the Authority Wars, a few of us in the inner circle of the Resistance initiated what came to be known as Project Dagger. It was designed to put an end to the Authority. Permanently. We knew it wasn't likely that they'd just disappear despite their losses. And furthermore, we knew that General Cross was in possession of technology that allowed him something akin to eternal life. Project Dagger was scrapped when Vineland closed its gates to outsiders. But a pact of sorts remained between me and the other three original Daggers. First, John Marshall of Gun Barrel. A tough, no-nonsense old war horse who led the first fight against the Authority. He understands the importance of technology and spycraft better than anyone. His skills will help keep you off the Authority's radar. Second, Lucem Hagar of Wellspring, daughter of war hero Dan Hagar. She went from guerrilla fighter to mayor of the greatest city in the wasteland. Her access to military-grade vehicles will be indispensable. And then, there's Dr. Anton Kvasir, ex-Authority scientist turned resistance fighter. He's a genius when it comes to nanotrite technology and mutations. His skills are a cornerstone of the Dagger Project. You will want to know more down the road. Your range of armor CPU has logs that will be able to answer many of your questions. Good luck out there, Ranger Walker. Okay, so go out, find these people, probably convince them to help us. So you thought you'd just dump all that on my shoulders and waltz off into oblivion, huh, Aunt Prowley? Well then, I guess it's all up to me now. Of course it is. So yeah, we gotta go and find these people, convince them to help us, which will probably involve us doing things for them, doing tasks for them to get them on our side. Lily, there are three people I need to find. John Marshall, Dr. Kvasir, and Lucem Hagar. They're all part of a Project Dagger designed to stop the Authority. That's a pretty tall order. Yeah, your mother is no nonsense, even from the afterlife. Too soon, Walker. Sorry, Lily. But, hey, I'm ready to trek out into the wasteland. I think I got just the thing. Come see me. Oh, we get in our first vehicle then. Cool. So, uh, yeah, this, this, like I said, the story on this I've heard is... It's not as bad, it's just, like... It's not that important. So, what you got? Well, I've got lots of ideas for projects, and with your help, we can get them off the ground. The 
you're gonna be key to your survival out there. So, let's get you your ride. Okay, projects. Welcome to the project screen. Here you're able to purchase projects using projects points that you have earned. Uh, projects give a large variety of benefits. The moment you only have access to Lily's basic projects, let's head over there. Right. So, let's see. Each of your allies has their own set of projects or unlocked by working with them. The benefit you in all aspects of the game and are purchased by using... Right, okay, so what's... Um, okay, so what, what are the projects we can do here? The first project you can purchase unlocks the Vehicles menu. It will also reward you with your very own combat vehicle, the Phoenix. The Vehicles give menu, menu gives access to vehicle upgrades and allows you to call in a vehicle whenever you need one. Go ahead and purchase it now. All right, so we don't really have a choice. we got to go ahead and purchase a, our first thing, uh, which is a vehicle, which I, we're going to need that, I'm sure, so... Okay, uh, we can go to the tab menu to unlock our, to get our vehicle out. Got it. Do I really have to press enter? I do. That's really unintuitive. Like, why is it not E? Like, enter, I have to take my hand off the mouse to go and hit enter. That's, that's a pain in the ass game. All right. Uh, cool. That's fine. Uh, do we want to... Do I want to purchase an upgrade? What does this do? Oh, I don't have enough points. Okay, so we already got the first one. We don't have enough points for the second one. What does this do, like a speed? Oh, this increases the cap for overdrive to 10 times. And does that mean I do 10 times damage on kills? That's insane. Enables more overdrive and filter cells can be generated from kills. That's really cool on both. Those are both useful. Um, grenade arc. Okay, it's kind of cool. That's okay. Instantly refill my magazine is okay. It's not that great, though. Store more than just arc vehicles. Okay, so there are different kinds of vehicles I can store, which means that I could potentially use them at any time, maybe, which is going to be useful, I'm assuming. I don't have anything else here. I assume that these three different ones that are not unlocked yet are from the three different companions we're going to be getting later on. Okay. So. Okay, I can view this guy's projects. Right, so that's, that's what it is, yeah. Um, oh, so we can look at these in, in advance, and I could I could take a look at these and um, decide what I wanted to specialize in and maybe who I want to work with first. I'm not sure if I really have a choice for that. I don't know why I can't just switch by clicking on these over here. That would, uh, that would make a lot of sense. Right, so here's this one. So John Marshall's projects are focused around combat, complete locations, activities tied to kill and destroy to earn more operation power for Marshall's operations. Okay, this one is uh, engineering. Okay, kind of same thing. And this one is neotrites. This guy is the uh, lets us do the the freaky shit, you know. So what what is what does he offer here? Carry up to six health infusion. Overdrive, fusion, and ability fusion. Okay, we can carry more of those. It's good. Um, data pad tracking. And I'm assuming I could, like, there was an infusion belt, and there was also, like, a, an ammo belt or something else I saw earlier. I'm assuming you can use both? Because it wouldn't make sense that you couldn't. You don't have to use one or the other. Um, I am probably, guys, I'm going to take a look at these and um, kind of talk about which ones I want to aim towards first. But I'm going to do that off screen because it's going to take me a very long time to di digest all this information and I'm sure you'll be bored. So I will see you in a little bit once I'm done looking at these. Okay, so we've unlocked our vehicle Phoenix. I'm going to go over the uh, different trees and stuff here in a second. Um, let me see. Is that... Yes, in tab, right? So here's all the different things you can unlock as well. So, Shatter. Lunge towards target and unleash a strong kinetic Shatter that sends enemies flying and breaks their armor. Cool. So, I have to obtain this? I, I, don't, I don't already have it, I don't think. Grav Jump uh, gives you a burst or lift when you jump. Is cool. And save myself from death by using electrical charge. That's pretty great, too. So, the barriers... I, I guess we can get, like, all this stuff. 
right? We can get all these things, right? So I've unlocked these already. These are the basic ones. So there are perks for this as well I can use. I keep trying to click this, I can't click it. Oh, right, okay, so there are perks as well. So I, I want I need to spend a nanotrite booster to purchase a perk here. Um, I don't have any nanotrite boosters just yet. So, okay, I wanna look at the overdrive perks because um, I'm trying to click, I can't click that. Uh, let's see, what, before I do that, let me see, how, what does overdrive do? Health regen is increased to 110%. I don't, I'm pretty sure overdrive does, is it just faster shooting or is it more damage? I'm not sure which one it is. It's very, very good though. I will say that much for sure. And the perks on it are cooldown for all abilities reduced by 15%. Okay, that's good. A boost to movement and reload speeds during over, that's also good. Cooldown for all abilities reduced by 25%. That's, is that, um, I assume that's not cumulative, cumulative. I'm assuming that's like you get 15%, then you get 25%. It's not like 15 plus 25. Yeah, okay, it's just it's just like, you know, you upgrade it by 10% each time. Okay, got it. Oh, uh, that's cool. I don't know what these, um, like, I don't know if there are things that I haven't found yet that are in these slots, or if those, I, I'm, I don't know, if those are just empty because, uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I wasn't looking at these. I wanted to look at the projects, right? That's what I wanted to look at. So... This is the basic one for the the um, lily that we already have. And uh, unlocked overdrive multiplier. This is in increases the cap of overdrive multiplier to 10 times. Enable overdrive and feltrite cells to be generated from kills. So this means I can use overdrive more often because I'm generating more cells and um, I can get more feltrite cells when using it. So it'll keep me alive. That's good. I think that's definitely worth a look. These three are all kind of meh, gonna be honest. But this one I think will be one of the first things I get. Um, going back and looking at the other ones here. So John uh, Marshall is all about the combat stuff. And I guess the places these are the places where we have to go to uh, do like unlock stuff for him. And uh, looking at his abilities here, um, there are some decent ones, and um, there are some pretty cool wing stick abilities in other another tree, and it synergizes quite well with this. Um, being able to throw one wing stick, for example, and you can actually kill, I think, four or five targets with it. Like, you can lock onto one and then have it kind of boomerang around the other ones, which is pretty damn cool. Um, so, you know, having more of those is a good thing, I'd say. This one I'm not really sure about. It just, when I was switching back and forth between weapon modifications of the same tier, I'm not sure, I, like, can you do that in the field? Is it worth doing that in the field? I don't really know. That's one that I won't know how good that is until I see more of the game. Um, from the first tier, though, I definitely think that 25% uh, more of each type of bullet, that seems good to me. And um, what was the other one? Oh, this one, yes. Sneak attacks for five times damage. Um, yes, please, that sounds ridiculous. Five times damage is crazy. So I think my first two in this one are definitely gonna be surprise attack for five times damage and uh, bullet bag for 25% more ammo, because that's always a good thing, unless it turns out that you really don't need the ammo. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I don't know, so I'm, I'm kind of torn between, I think I want to play like a, you know, a Rambo type character. Weapon Joker is really cool. This is a really cool one. So. Um, when you switch your weapon, when your current magazine is empty, your switch speed is boosted by 100%, and it fills up the magazine of your new weapon. So you would effectively never have to reload as long as you're switching between two weapons. So you find two weapons you really like and just switch between them constantly, and you're good to go. Like, say you like the combat shotgun and the assault rifle, you just use them until they're empty, switch between them, and then, uh, yeah, you get a brand new magazine, never have to reload. That sounds good to me. Um, this spreading faster is always good. I don't know, we'll, we'll see as we go. 
This is cool as well. Overdrive, overdrive, make all your melee strikes criticals. Anyway, this guy is cool. Um, what I might end up doing though, yeah, so you can return vehicles, generate more cash that way. Um, you get extra cash from storage containers here and you get uh, extra feltrite from storage containers and this doubles uh, the chance of activation. So on both of those, so it'd be 50% chance to get extra on both of these. Um, here's the, the wing stick stuff I was talking about. You can lock on with the wing stick and throw it around a corner. This makes a lock on even quicker and then you can redirect it. So you can hit one guy with it and then hit the second guy with it, boom. And then you can do a double redirect, so you can take up to three guys out with it, or a triple. You can take four guys out with it at once, which is pretty cool, but it's kind of excessive almost because the whole time you're waiting for this wing stick to do its thing and you have to aim at the targets you want to hit, um, you're going to be vulnerable to their fire. And I feel like in the time that this took to go around and hit them all, I could have probably just shot them all myself. So as cool as it is, I don't think it's really that great. The explosion was kind of cool, though, just because it's cool. But anyway, I kind of feel like if I want to get the most out of my character, I'd want to get these three things probably as soon as I can to make sure I get the most stuff, which, you know, the most currency I can from stuff, um, as well as, I don't know about salesmen and trade negotiations. Those, those might be really good, too. But for sure, these are like the limited resource that you need to be able to... Um, upgrade your stuff, your your abilities and such. And the last one is the... Um, did let me click that time. Interesting. Last one is the uh, Nanotrite guy. Allows you to have more health overdrive and ability infusions. So you can have overdrive infusions, which give you like instant overdrive, I guess. I suppose that's how it works. This allows you to track storage containers and uh, data paths, which is... Uh, I don't know how useful it is. I mean, it's nice, but could just be more observant when you're playing and wouldn't need those, I guess. This is nice. Vampiric Overdrive gives you a bit of health on overdrive activation. It's pretty cool. Um, this one too, this especially, the Feltrite Drill enables you to get more Feltrite when harvesting these nodes of Feltrite Rocks, which are going to be in the world. I feel like that's going to be important if I want to maximize my Feltrite that I get. Same for the deep feltrite drill. I want to get that as soon as possible. Anyways, guys, I, I know I've been talking forever looking at this stuff. Raj is online and the Phoenix is good to go. There are more projects here that would benefit the two of us. You need to beef yourself up. And I need to get Vineland into some semblance of order. If you're lucky, your three dagger project contacts will offer you a similar deal. Because you sure need to get tough to take on the authority. Thanks for the tip. All right, I'm heading out. Okay, so, um... Gotta go. Man, calm down. The game really, like, pushes you away from exploring and talking to people in the beginning. So, we're going where? I see objective markers in the map. Is it this? Oh, here's our, our vehicle. Okay, so welcome to the Wasteland. You can use the map menu tab to locate and track things you can do in the open world to explore. More things you can do will be added to the map. Tracking a location on the map will track, track it to your GPS. GPS shows you the fastest route when you're driving. There are missions, which are the diamond orange things, and arc, which are the blue uh, hexagon things. You can track now on the map menu tab. Got it. So if I go to... Okay, here we go. Here's the map. And we can go and do things. So here is the Junkers Pass arc. It is... A difficulty of two. This is a difficulty of five, difficulty of three. So, like, obviously I'd want to probably do this one first. So those are my options to get my, unlock my, you know, people or whatever. So, I guess I should do that first. Well, I don't really have to. I mean, not like I'm going to have a bunch of Feltrite right away. I guess this is closest. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's track this. Um, what did I get? Oh, I, I pre-ordered today. Uh, Cult of the Death God, the mission will be unlocked. Oh, 
so there's a there's a there's a pre-order bonus of a mission. That's cool. Oh, you get the Nicholas Rain Armor and Settler Pistol. I think these are just like cosmetic items, just kind of cool things you can get. And um, why is it A to scroll? Why why A? No, A does not work to scroll. It's definitely mouse wheel game. Um, monster truck, mutant monster truck skin. Okay. Good, but I drive better. Let's you and me go for a spin. Reasonable to control so far. I like the GPS a lot. It's nice. I definitely can't take the uh, corners as fast as I'd like to. Roadblock. Looks man-made. Something can ambush. Yep. You should see if you can clear that clog up. I like the guns. Okay, clear the outpost and raise the blockers. All right. Did that do it? Do I need to get out here and go and attack these guys? Or yeah, I'm wasting ammo here. Standby mode initiated. Our our vehicles AI has got a little bit of twang. Nice. Just slam E at all the things, basically. Press E. Oh, he's got some junk. Um, how do I get this? Oh, okay. I guess I could just, uh... Yeah, just hit it with your weapon like that. There you go. We need to waste our ammo on that. They're just like... Caches have a load of the place, though I have a feeling this is probably giving you a bit extra at the start to kind of get you started. Not sure what we just took. Again, I'm just kind of slamming E and pressing buttons to have all the stuff, take all the stuff. Settlement over there in the distance, and that is uh, one of the places I think we're supposed to go to help out one of the guys that's going to unlock projects for us. Just heard someone. Oh, Jesus Christ. Overdrive is very fun, guys. Right, well, I think we killed everyone. Let me make sure I've gotten everything here. What is a oh, zipline? Right, I don't need a zipline right now. I'm surprised it didn't fall off over there. Very surprised, actually. Right, so explosive barrels. I'll have to watch out for that. Um, okay, so here, this is what we need to do. Got it. Got the roadblock out of the way. One hundred dollars. Oh, so this gave us a level with, um, Hager. 
Hagger. I earned a project point. Okay. Roadblocks blocking days are over. All clear. Yeah, the coalition's gonna love that. Alrighty then, so. Deltrade engine, can I. Oh! Awesome, so that, that gives me a bunch of health back. That's cool. That's nice. Oh, there's a felt truck right over there. Someone's shooting at me. Don't you guys be shooting up my ride, man. Let me get this last thing over here. There's a whole bunch of stuff over here, apparently. Definitely scratches my urge to uh, pick up all the things, you know? Okay, I think we're done here. So, we have a project point as well. Let me... Oh, never mind. There's more stuff here. Must get all the things. Right, project point. So, we got a project for that. We need to go to projects. And... Uh, it would be... Yeah, capture control. So, I have three... Things I can get here. Now, the question is, can I spend them for basic instead? Because I wanted this. And then, um, this is the one that has this, which I need to spend four points in here to unlock these, or I have to unlock two things. So I guess I really don't have a choice. Really have to just kind of go with these, which is if I want to unlo unlock these early on, which is fine. I guess I can do that. Um, even though some of the other stuff is probably better overall. I don't know. We'll see. Let's uh, let's go ahead and. Oh, it says tier one locked. Does that mean that I can't do this yet? Do I need? Yeah, I, I cannot get this yet. Okay, because I need to go and unlock her first. Same with this guy. Okay, tier one's locked. So first, I have to go and if I want to do that, I have to go and do her mission. And um, let's see. That is Hagar, and that's on the map. It'd be this one. Okay. Well, that's a long haul if I want to go and uh, get her. This is a long ways, too. It's going to be just the start of the game, too. All right, guys. Well, I think we've done enough for one episode here. Um, I've got my bearings of this game. I'm going to continue playing it and making more episodes for this. Uh, I think next time we will probably check out this arc that's right over here. Uh, we're so close to it, might as well. And then uh, head up and get these two. I want to get um, John Marshall, which is a combat guy, I believe. And then Lusum Hagar, uh, which she will open up the ability to get more stuff whenever we're looting stuff. Which I think will be a good way to um, increase our earnings very quickly. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.